Today, we are standing in what, in my opinion, is the greatest part of Montana. Check this out. In this video, we're going to show you all around Many Glacier. We're going to show you the lodge and some of the hikes in this area, and it's just an awesome spot, so stay tuned. So you're looking at the Many Glacier Hotel right here, and it sits right on the shores of Swift Current Lake. And the picture I showed you a minute ago, it's just, in my opinion, probably the most beautiful spot in Montana. And we try and come here every summer. It's just an unbelievable place to stay and hike around, and uh, you almost don't even feel like you're in this country. On this particular trip, my wife and her friends, I dropped them off at the Loop, trail which is on the west side of the park and you can hike it's four miles up to granite park chalet and then it's another about mile from there up to swift current pass and then you come down on this side into the mini glacier valley and the reason i'm not on this hike is i'm not a big fan of heights and as you can see this little area right here is known as the devil's elbow but I cannot deal with these type of heights and the narrowness of the trail and there's no way I could ever do this. Unfortunately, I would like to, but I don't know. The older I get, the worse I am with heights, but obviously my wife has no fear of heights as she's hanging the phone over the edge like that. Um, but just a spectacular, spectacular trail. And it's about probably 12 miles total from where I dropped them off on the loop until they came over the pass, came down this trail here, and then you get down into, you know, the bottom, the mini glacier valley there, and you probably have seven miles to go before you get to the hotel that sits on uh, Swift Current Lake that I just showed you. So this part of the hike is obviously filled with cliffs and, and spots that may make you want to turn around if you're, if you're like me and you're not a fan of heights. So again if this is something you'd like to do but you have a problem with heights i would not suggest this particular hike but there are many hikes that you can do from the hotel uh, back along the low part like right here this is right this is probably a mile away from the hotel right here and this is going up towards lake josephine which is the next lake up from swift current lake that i showed at the beginning and Again, you can continue all the way up past Grinnell Lake and up to Grinnell Glacier over here as well. Um, and more than likely, you're going to see animals. This part of uh, the park is filled with bears, and they ran into a big old moose out here, as you can see right here. I have never seen a moose, uh, a bull moose like this, so this was kind of cool that we got some footage of this guy. Um, we did see some other cow moose uh, during our trip, but uh, Angie and her friend did another short hike uh, the second day we were there and ran into this moose, but there are a lot of bears over on this side of the park too, so you need to be careful, but I guarantee you will see animals, whether it's these goats or the moose or whatever, whatever you're looking for, more than likely on this side of the park, you are definitely going to see the animals. If you don't feel like hiking that far, you can do these boat tours, and I'm just showing the prices. And uh, you can also rent canoes and kayaks right here on Swift Current Lake, but a lot of people do this boat tour that you're looking at right here. And it'll take you all the way across to the end of Swift Current Lake, and then you walk about a quarter mile up over the hill to Josephine Lake, and then they've got another boat over there that'll take you all the way down to the end of Lake Josephine. and. The scenery is just unmatched. I mean, it, it, you're not going to find this type of scenery anywhere that I've seen in the lower 48 states. I'm sure someone will argue with me, but in my opinion, there's just nothing better than this mini glacier valley. Here's another activity you can do. They have a, a stable right on the back side of the parking lot for the hotel, and they do trail rides every day. And they have all kinds of horses they bring over um, that are right here in this little corral during the day. And that's these are the guys that they'll take out on these different hikes. But one of the cool things is in the morning and in the evening, they take all the horses back to the barn or 
as you can see here this was in the morning so they're bringing them from the barn over to the stables and just the backdrop and to see all these horses come by is kind of a cool thing that you should if you're staying here make sure you're up in time to come see this or come out in the evening and watch them go back uh, just because this <laughs> the backdrop is right out of a movie I mean we we joke that that backdrop almost looks like they pulled down a screen as a as a prop for a movie because it's just so spectacular and just to see the horses coming through every day is kind of a cool thing to see and I would highly suggest checking this out if you're up here or even going for one of the rides um, it would the trails around here, like I said, are just beautiful. And to do it on a horse, if you don't feel like walking, would definitely make it a lot easier and and kind of a very Western thing to do. And you're, you're not going to find anywhere else in the country that's as pretty as this spot right here. So let's take a look inside the hotel. And this was built, it's, they started building this in 1914. And they finished in one year, believe it or not, and, and 4th of July in 1950, 15 it opened up. And it was built uh, by the Great Northern Railway as a, a way to get people to come west and, and tour the areas out here. But this hotel is just, the history of it, you can just feel it when you walk in. It's just a great spot. There are 205 rooms here. Uh, there's seven family rooms and two suites. And a lot of the rooms have decks, whether you're on the, the lake side or the front side. There's also down, the end, down at this one end, there's a big dining room where you can go have dinner at night. Uh, I believe they're also open for breakfast. And then there's a little pub off to the right uh, that you can go in and uh, they have kind of bar food and whatever. And then down in the lower level, they have this little snack bar. You can go there in the morning and get coffee or sandwiches or water if you're going out for a hike and then they have a big old gift shop right here so the hotel has everything so even if you're just coming up for the day you can just come in here and check everything out and get souvenirs and then again this is just more of the beauty of this area uh, this is the river running out of swift current lake and it heads down into lake sherburn which you pass on the way here but Here's the view again, right when you right when you get to Swift Current Lake and the hotel there is on your left, obviously. And then down at the far end, there's a much smaller hotel and a campground. So if you're ever up in this area, you definitely have to check this place out. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.